Well, here's something kind of cool. Uh, Vast Fire on Amazon sent me this tactical light to review. So, thought I'd give it a shot and see what I think about it. The first thing you might notice here is it comes in a pretty cool case. I haven't ever seen anything that comes like this. You know, so it's a pretty sturdy little case here. It's got these locks all around. And I guess you can hang it up or carry it. I don't know. So, this is basically what you have uh, inside. So it's got a good bit of, of uh, stuff, accessories and all that, and I'll show you what I have here. I've just taken a brief look at it. But this is the light right here. There's our light. And um, my first thought on it was it seems a little bit large for a gun light. I mean, it's a good small handheld flashlight. You can sort of see that right there. That's, that's working. You know, it has your usual um, button activation in the back. So it's a good little tactical flashlight, but doesn't work as a uh, weapon light. So we'll check that out. But of course, that's what it's designed to be because you've got your, um, your remote activation switch. Goes on the tail cap there. That's always nice. And here's our uh, mount for it. You have this mount right here. And uh, it will go on your standard, you know, Weaver or Picatinny rails. And so we'll try that on, uh, obviously, with its size, obviously a, a rifle or a long gun light. We'll check that there. But something which I thought was interesting is it comes with these uh, rechargeable batteries here. So we've got one rechargeable battery, and we've got another one. And um, as they come, they do have some charge in them. They will light up the light. But they do have this little plastic coating you have to take off, or else, of course, it won't work. But there's a rechargeable battery uh, right there. And here is the, the charger for it. So we got that. But in addition to the rechargeable batteries, inside the light here, let's take this out, we've got this little guy here. It looks like it would hold uh, AAA batteries. So you've got your standard batteries that you can buy uh, and get anywhere, or you've got your rechargeable ones that come with it. So I like that as um, just kind of two different options to uh, you know keep these around, but then have normal batteries if you have some type of uh, situation where that goes out and you don't have time to recharge. But anyway, there's the light itself. Sort of your uh, standard tactical light. It does have a zoom feature on it right there, uh, crenellated edge, it appears to be aircraft aluminum. So uh, we'll test this out in a couple of situations and uh, just see, see how it works. Now, as I mentioned, uh, it comes with um, these uh, two uh, chargeable, rechargeable batteries here, you'll see that. And um, as I put this in, there's a little bit of uh, light on there, there's some charge in there. But of course you want to fully charge these things, uh, most of them aren't going to come fully charged. So what I'm going to do here is just uh, plug this in. And uh, we have a red light that comes on as it's charging. So anyway, I'll uh, leave that in and see what it looks like. Uh, when it gets, uh, if there's any change, to see if that's uh, a full charge in there or not. But that's, uh, looks like what the charger would look like. Now, as I mentioned, their light seems uh, a little bit large. So, um, as a comparison here for sizes, these are some lights I've reviewed um, uh, in the past, all that I've tried on, on shotguns. So here's uh, Axion's light that's a really neat thing. It actually fits right into the end of the magazine tube. Here's Monstrum Tactical's light, which I do like uh, quite a bit. Notice how nice and compact that is. Here's the one I have on uh, currently, which is a combination light and laser. So if we see these uh, sizes here, how those compare to each other. And now we have this one here. So here's the uh, Vast Fire light. So really kind of a bit large 
for any uh, weapons tack light here if you compare those uh, those sizes to these other three so uh, as far as the size goes really more of a small handheld flashlight than a uh, weapons tack light so here it is mounted on my shotgun in my usual place that I have for mounting uh, a tack light now for a light on a, a long gun you want to have it as uh, forward as possible up here near the barrel so a couple of things is it's going to give you the the best amount of light without your barrel obscuring any of the light beam and also it's going to throw the least amount of light on your barrel lighting you up and making you a possible target so again you want it as far forward as you can so here's where I have it in my shotgun now of course because there's a long magazine tube here I, I can mount it uh, very far forward and this is of course by mounting rail and that's where I've chosen to uh, attach it there so that being said our uh, our uh, pigtail here or um, the uh, extension to remote uh, light this thing up um, is uh, you know kind of short for this particular application so um, you know that's certainly not uh, not their fault but I would kind of struggle to think you know where where can I have this on a shotgun where it would be um, useful to me and also um, easy to reach and not get in the way of my shotgun's main purpose. And uh, here it is on my AR. So you can of course with most modern ARs attach anything you want. I do have a, a laser right there and there's the light so you can see the size that that takes up and kind of the the bulk you'd have with that and uh, what you do with the um, the remote switch here I'm, I'm not too sure I mean trying to thread it and put it somewhere here along uh, the gun would be difficult I guess that's why if you have like a laser light package uh, sort of a dual thing you can mount and keep everything up here um, when I could thread it through here and put it on on my my grip and so that way I have access to it here like this so you see that you know um, but I think what might be better see how I have it mounted this way with the, the mounting bracket is to have it going down and that way I could probably just reach the um, the button right there without that um, without that um, uh, remote switch and that might be a better way of, uh, of getting it on there. So that's what I did. I uh, changed the mounting so it points downward and uh, it's right there for my thumb so I took off the, uh, the remote switch for it. So there it is without the remote switch of course I've got to push it on all the way and I can momentarily turn it off with my thumb doesn't turn it off there so it functions like a, a normal flashlight but actually it's a pretty good position right there so as I'm holding my front foregrip my thumb is right there if I, if I want it to be that so turn it on and, uh, and there you go anyway uh, nice position there um, at least if your uh, foregrip mounts about here but it can feel that weight there and again it is a um, it's a big it's a, a big mass of, of weight right there for for a, uh, a weapon tack light but of course it is a decent light so you be the judge well here it is on my shotgun and as I had uh, mentioned before my one concern was its size so you can see the size of it uh, right here as it is there you know in a standard place you put a tack light on a shotgun um, so that's a pretty big uh, front there to it and I can definitely feel the weight on it so I'm not sure that's where I'd uh, want to have this and um, anyway so 
there we go with it. Now, as I mentioned, the remote switch here, it's not quite long enough uh, to work, at least for, for my particular uh, situation here. If I stretch it out to its fullest, I could probably mount it right here. And so, the one nice thing about this uh, remote switch is it has the momentary on right there. And there's a little bump in front that has full just on and then once again to go off. So on and then off and then you just have your momentary on which is probably what you'd use in most tactical situations. But anyway, uh, there it is and um, of course they, they mean for it to be used as a tactical light. So you have the remote switch there. But also it comes with this uh, fairly standard uh, mount for it and you can see how I've got this going uh, right here just on a little bit of rail section I put there so it's an angled mount kind of your common one for lights but what uh, is important to note here is that um, tactical lights generally speaking are going to be round right here and this isn't it's got uh, straight kind of squared off sides here maybe a little easier to grip but your um, all your mounts are going to be round and so the mount just by itself this you know, standard sort of aluminum mount uh, isn't going to hold it but they include some plastic sleeves in there hopefully you can see those there's like a, they come in halves most mounts will have this just, just so you can mount with various sizes of tactical lights and you have to have these on there so it grips onto the non-round um, you know tube or main body of the light here but they really don't fit on that well so you've got to squeeze them on really tightly and then um, it's it's tough to actually get the two halves of the mount around and uh, screw it in. Now they do include an allen key for that so they fit these right here. It's also helpful there's a little hole right here through this knurled knob you can put that through and really crank it tight because otherwise it'll probably come off a gun when you fire it. But anyway um, so it it's sort of like like I say a, a small to medium hand flashlight that they've tried to press into service as a as a tack light. So its size and um, and shape here aren't really conducive to this particular use for it. And you can see you've got the zoom feature on it, which of course you'd have to reach out all the way on your uh, gun to have that. But I have a long magazine tube, so if I'm using my light here or using my gun and got the light on this um, I can activate it that way so that's all right anything else yeah, I really have to stretch to try and, and adjust that uh, zoom on the light there so I guess you can do that uh, beforehand um, anyway so you know there we are on sort of a longer uh, shotgun and um, this is what the uh, remote switch looks like with the uh, momentary on off right there and then the full on and then off with that one. It also does come with some um, adhesive and um, velcro um, little strips so you can put it on your gun and mount it to take it off that way. My experience has been that almost every uh, bit of light, uh, light mounting solution I've gotten that has those uh, tape like that, that uh, it's just going to come off. The adhesive really isn't that strong, and so you probably need to buy some really heavy duty, almost industrial strength Velcro to make those work. But usually, what they come with is going to uh, loosen up and come off, you know, fairly soon. So anyway, there you can see its uh, its application on uh, a fairly standard shotgun setup. And I'm not really sure. Uh, what else uh, I could do with it here, but I'll uh, I'll try some tests and, and see how that goes.
that'll do. And we're back from the uh, shotgun test. Uh, seems to have held up just well from those you know few shells that I shot with it mounted on on the shotgun. Uh, I haven't shot it with it mounted in my AR, but if it'll stand up to a 12 gauge, it'll stand up certainly to uh, you know a, a smaller round uh, like a 223 or something. So uh, seems pretty durable. Uh, still works just fine. I'm using the uh, uh, end switch right here since. Um, I don't know if you noticed, but I had a hard time figuring out with the shotgun how to actually work it with that um, with a remote switch on there. It had a difficult time routing it. Uh, one place I tried, it kind of got in the way of ejecting my shell. So that setup just didn't really seem to work well. Uh, again, with the, the size and the position I would have for it on a shotgun, not sure it works for me um, in, you know, the, for the purpose of a tack light. But it is durable and has uh, has uh, has held up just fine. So you know it looks like it would probably um, stand up to some more repeated shooting. Like I say, a few uh, 12 gauge shells the, going through the recoil of that, and uh, can't see any problem at all. Now, what I forgot to mention, you may have noticed before that uh, the box does say. It is explosion proof. Uh, I can't say that I have any way of trying that out. I'm going to doubt that a little bit, but it will stand up to the recoil of your long gun. And now for the important stuff here, we have a comparison. Now, uh, here we are. Here's the light. And this is, uh, with a zoom on it, this is the tightest it'll go. And if you pull it out, you get something kind of like that. So again, zoom in, like a lot of zoom flashlights, and you can see the Cree uh, LED there. All right, so you're probably not going to be zooming a flashlight in a tactical situation, but, you know, there you go. So as a comparison, I've got my, uh, my shotgun light that has light and laser together on it and you can see kind of how how that looks in comparison there we go we have Monstrum Tacticals light so that's kind of nice and tight and concise there um, but that's all you get with a, a small tack light. You see how, how that compares. And then Axion's uh, light that mounts on the end of the shotgun magazine tube. And you see that there. So, not surprisingly, this one is the brightest one out of all of these. And I say not surprisingly because it's the biggest and uh, has the has the most power to it. So uh, there you have it. Um, no real brand. Again, uh, I was contacted by Light Vastfire, and just says power style on the uh, on the box here. Um, so like a lot of these things, they're made overseas, and there's not no real brand to them. But uh, again, uh, there you go. Uh, very decent flashlight for um, you know, hand use, handheld use, and uh, even uh, can be used in a weapon or as a weapon if needed. That's what the crinolated edge here is for, so that can certainly help out. It's uh, nice and sturdy, uh, great, strong, very functional flashlight, just probably too big as a tactical light for a firearm.